Welcome to Shatter the Vein. Oh my gosh, we got patch 1.8. It's got Sky in it. I had a feeling this was going to happen. I called it Friday. You know, Gibbs on episode 45, he was saying Thursday. I mean, not Thursday. He was saying Tuesday. So, you know, it fell on the Thursday. I say we both were right. It happened this week. Uh, 1.8 just has a lot of tweaks, a lot of balances. Uh, nothing huge. It's not like a massive patch list, but there are a lot of tweaks to the numbers. And, you know, throwing Sky in here is going to really mix up the meta. And we're going to see a lot of different things on the Halcyon fold uh, over the next month. And, you know, this is the end of the season. Uh, after this, we're going to get the patch reset for a ranked tier. So be sure, you know, get that. Get that Pinnacle of Awesome, get that Fan Glorious, get hot. And whatever you need to get, you know, make the push for it. Start playing some rank this month and be sure to pick up Sky. You know, she's free. Uh, she's not free. She's uh, she's available for ice for the first uh, seven days. And then after that, you'll be able to pick her up with Glory. So that early access. Uh, and so, you know what, we're going to run down this whole patch uh, 1.8. You know, go through the changes, go through the heroes. Give some thoughts on, you know, what you can expect to see and who you might be able to counter Sky with. I got Mexi jumping in this episode with me. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, let's get into it. Shatter the Vein, a podcast about vain glory. This is the 46th episode of Shadow of the Vein. My name is Brett Chmielewski, and this is a podcast all about Vainglory. Every week, or in this case, twice a week, come together to break down the news, some gameplay, game tips, and hopefully we can all become better players together. And today we got the 1.8 update. Uh, I, I had a feeling it was coming this week. Gibbs and I talked about it last week. But I love to put out an episode where we break down the patch notes and go over, you know, everything that's changing and get some thoughts on it. And to help me out, I have BFDM Mexi. Right? Did I say that right? Yeah, hey, you got it. You got right. it. It's usually messed up at least a dozen times. But All right, welcome. It's mostly just Mexi. The, the, the okay. front of it's a little bit of just old. old All right, old. We'll, just, we'll just go with Mexi. Yeah, Mexi. <laughs> how's, uh, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Oh man, uh, it's kind of like a last minute random going here, but uh, that's cool. That's, <laughs> yeah, I, wasn't doing anything, I wasn't doing anything at the moment anyway, so that's cool. Right, everyone else is like busy in the game right now, playing yeah, I know, everybody. You look at the fence list and it's like 100 people long and they're all in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. But uh, you want to introduce yourself? Who are you? You're part of Gangstars, you're on yeah, Twitter, so, you're streaming sometimes. Well, I wouldn't say sometimes. Okay. I, streamed, I, I streamed on occasion when I'm okay. bored. It's not very often. So anyway, yes, my name is uh, BFDM Mexi. That's my IGN, all caps. And uh, I am part of Gangstars. We are the, on the I'm on the casual side. So there is obviously there's two uh, there's two uh, divisions to Gangstars. There's the casual side, and then there's the competitive side, which everybody knows the competitive side. Sure. <laughs> uh, there's a handful of really awesome players on the competitive side, but there's also uh, a real there's, there's a real strong back end, which is the casual side, which does right. all of the promoting and trying to get um, sponsors and trying to get, uh, you know, just get the Gangstar's name out there, trying to get uh, shirts done and, you know, doing artwork for the website and stuff like that. Cool. And that's what we do. Okay. So you're kind of, uh, are you just part of that team? Or are you in charge of that at all? Or No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just part of that team. Oh, cool. Uh, Pone, Pone is the leader of the... Uh, of, of the, the, of the, the everything. Of the everything. <laughs> kind of over, he overwatches the, uh, the the competitive side, and then Sphix is the leader of the casual side. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Very cool. Um, well, I think uh, we could run through these patch notes. I know huh. you've had a chance I mean, to... I, I kind of skimmed them a little bit. But okay. It, to go into depth yeah for sure but you've uh you've seen some of these changes and had some thoughts on them before so i'm sure uh yeah you know, what, know what's coming here <laughs> i've seen i've seen a lot of this before i mean um there's only so many of us on the, in the na server that are actually part of the pve yeah cool. so we, i you know some of this is not new to me but some of this wasn't i don't think it was in the actual pve so it is like wow i can't believe they did that <laughs> right yeah and it's fun to see like what gets yeah. changed that you know doesn't get tested you know some of the other things that we'll get into let's jump into it vain glory news 
so I think the biggest thing of patch 1.8 is Sky. Yeah. The sky is here and she's looking good. She's awesome. <laughs> I mean, um, to be honest, when she when they first introduced her, she went through a really OP phase. Yeah. And then she went through a very what is this phase? And then that <laughs> I think she's actually not too bad. She's she's a little squishy, but I think she has to be for, you know, the type of job she's supposed to do, which is basically chasing people down and zoning them out. Yeah. So uh, if that's her role, then yeah, if you made her too tanky or too strong, I mean, she would be all over the fold just destroying people. <laughs> right, just <laughs> running through them, jumping around, you know, mowing yeah, them. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you're taking that chance. Well, I'm going to chase this guy, but if I get caught out, I'm done. So that's that's a pretty good spot for her to be in, I think. Cool. Um, let's uh, go through her abilities quickly because even sure. last week we, we didn't have, like, a full list. But uh, So yeah. her heroic perk is called Target Lock. And basically, after a couple auto attacks, she locks down a target, and basically, it should, the, it should be on the first, uh, the first auto. Oh, attack. the first auto. So she just has to first get one first, attack, right. and then she gets the target lock. Right. And she gets it. She also gets a speed boost when she has this target lock on them, uh, but the target lock or the speed boost is less if she's going away from them so it's kind of like used for like chasing and moving around them a little bit that's right so you can strafe your strafe i believe the strafe is the same speed buff as the forward movement but the the, the reverse the retreating movement is is uh, cut down quite dramatically obviously because they want her to be chasing and not not, not running away yeah not yeah right not pulling away right cool. uh yeah this is just nice it kind of also lets your team know who we're gonna attack this is true. That's actually pretty nice. It's almost like a built-in ping system. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a, I think we were using the Fortress Bleed when that first, like, all right, this is the right. guy. Let's get this him. This is the guy. Get him, yeah. Marked. <laughs> uh, her A ability is called Forward Barrage, and Sky fires her guns while strafing, uh, so she can move freely, um, like, but she can change directions when facing them, and then reactivating this ability will cancel it. And forward barrage does damage to her lock target, but less damage to non-heroes. So if you're trying to like clear a minion wave, it doesn't do as much. But if you're trying to, you know, right. take someone down, that's where all your damage is coming from. And this being able to activate it, or like turn it on and off, is kind of handy. It is kind of handy. It's kind of like the what kind of what Saw needs, uh, yeah. in my opinion. He needs a, a way to get away from, like, a, let's say a failed uh, a failed uh, suppressing fire. Yeah. Where she has this ability, she can kind of start it and go, oh, this was bad, and, and then actually pull it away. So it gives her that that oops factor that she can kind of cancel out of or even use it as a fake, like, hey, I'm going to do this, and then, of course, get the get the enemies to react and then pull it off and then do something else. Yeah, just, shoot, just, shoot it, like, in reverse. Like, we've all messed up that saw where you shoot right, it the wrong right. way. Like, oh, no. <laughs> the last old, yeah. yeah. All of it. So you kind of you could psych people out, be like, "Oh, I'm baiting you! Look how bad I am!" Right. And, shot at the and then wrong turn way. it off, and then use her B ability to just kind of reposition, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah. Her B ability is called uh, Surrey Strike. Yeah. And so passively, each ability point in Surrey Strike increases the amount of time Sky can keep her target locked without attacking. So that kind of goes back to the uh, the sure. target lock, right? Uh, and then when she activates it. Uh, Sky dashes to a chosen location of her near near target, and she can kind of go anywhere around them, right? That's right. Yeah. So she, it's uh, to me, it's a little it's a little weird when I activate it. Some people have it uh, right away, but yeah, she it used to be a really big in the PVE. It used to be a really big circle, so you'd hit it and you'd be like, she'd kind of go somewhere, and you're like, well, I don't even yeah. know what she was supposed to do. But they actually reduced the size of the circle, so what you know exactly where she's going to go. And where the missiles are going to land, basically the missiles land where your target was, not where he is. Right. So you have to kind of use your ability, knowing where the target is going to go, because if you put it, if you, almost if you put it, if you use it at the wrong time, you'll actually launch them behind them, which is a big waste. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah, when you yeah. when you dash, you fire this volley of missiles, which that's right. The animation is pretty great on it, like the movement yeah, it's pretty of the cool. I can't really describe it. It's like they come out from the side and then they kind of. They kind of like uh, almost like a what is those? What are those rockets from like, like the homing uh, missiles? Shoot? Yeah, and they go up in the air like a uh, javelin. Javelin, okay, yeah. Yeah, like six javelins that come out. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh man, that's really fun. And if I think this will be the ability that like the people that a ma- that master her are going to be great with. That's this. right. So yeah, it does do the little strike, but basically what it's for is to reposition yourself from uh, from a person that is. You know, like everybody knows about the Vox or the the Ringo that just kind of always stays out of range. Well, once you get lock on them, then you can use your Surrey Strike to just catch right up to them. So, again, you're getting that chase that they want you to do. They want you to chase. They want you to chase. It doesn't really work when you're trying to retreat. It really works well when you're chasing. Yeah. So, and it's, it works really well when you're trying to stay on somebody and just kind of get that last hit that everybody wants to get on box and he, you know, boots away, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's kind boots of, and dash, kind of to yeah. counter that. <laughs> and then her ultimate is called death from above, which is an awesome name. And I'm, yeah. I'm basically probably going to be playing her and listening to, uh, <laughs> was it death from above 1979 <laughs> okay. or I forget the band name. <laughs> right. Let me just put them on a couple it's albums. Such, it's such a mean looking old. <laughs> It, it really is. It's just like one of the best looking ults that they have. I mean, aside from Adagio's tier three, I mean, this thing goes out and just does massive damage. I think it has a stun and a slow. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it does. What What's great about it, it's two ultimates in one, too. Yeah, uh, that's right. So when you activate it, if you click on a, a target, you get this big blast of missiles like straight down on this target I believe it, yeah if you, if you click on your lock target yeah and the lock everything's target. based around the target lock mm-hmm. so if you if you click on your locked target then you get a cluster yeah which is really cool and then uh if you click off them or in another way if you've ever played league of legends this is kind of like rumbles alt where it kind of mm-hmm. lays down a line of missiles and this kind of can zone off the t- enemies mm-hmm. from either retreating or getting into the fight. And if they hit this, they're slowed and take damage as well. That's right. That's really cool. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a little. It's going to be a little quirky for new people. Especially it took me a while in PBE to actually figure out how it worked. Yeah. Um, but yeah, once you get it down, you're going to be able to zone people out. You know, you always get that. You know, you have that Arden where you can put that big kind of barrier. But sometimes you don't really need the whole barrier. You can just lock somebody out uh-huh. uh, with just a line, which is I think will work very well with her. Yeah, I think we'll probably see most people probably just using the target lock because I or the the target that's locked the, all. That's that's the easiest one I think to to understand because you're going to see a lot of fail alts at least in the first couple of weeks. I'm sure. Yeah. Or you know, somebody drops it and they're like, oops, <laughs> it was like uh, off to the side. <laughs> but zoning people, like, I know, get in fights all the time over by the minion mine. And you're trying to, like, I'll just, you know, dance around the minion mine. If you could keep them, like, next to the minion mine and <laughs> take right. all that damage, that's kind that's of right. useful there. It is kind of useful there. Yeah, kind of lock them next to the minion mine. It's either, you know, take some minion aggro or, or walk through this ult that's going to do massive damage. Right, yeah. Uh, so did you already pick her up? Have you jumped into it? I did. I, I'm kind of an SEMC, kind of give him all the money <laughs> okay. guy. I mean, I don't have all the skins yet, but I do have all the heroes yet. Yeah, that's the same here. I don't have all those skins. <laughs> I don't um, think I've, I've maybe unlocked two or three with Glory. Okay. And of course, there were te- cheap ones, and then the rest of it's been nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all these particles are awesome, and I it's, we talk about these Tier 3 skins and everything. Like yeah. I think down the line, her... Uh, skin is going to be pretty fantastic. Yeah, speaking of skins. Yeah, that's kind of next on the list. But <laughs> I think the new hottest skin on the fold is going to be this Killer Jewel 9000. Yeah. It's tier 3. Seriously. This thing is a beast, man. <sighs> I mean, you you see a Tier 3 and you're like, wow, that's like, of course it was Ringo's was first. You're like, oh my god, that's the best T3 I've ever seen. And then Adagio comes out and you're like, oh my god, that's the best T3 I've ever seen. You know? <laughs> and then Catherine. <laughs> and then, and no. Catherine's T3, oh my god, the red bubble. And then now you have Jewel, which is freaking amazing, man. I mean, they, they progressed her from uh, being kind of like a just robot jockey to this, you know, captain of the guard type person who's, you know, got yeah. this super cool mech with a flame sword you know that's amazing i think i'm gonna throw down throw in like a you know 50 100 bucks into the account because it's in the ice box right now so i might as well take advantage of that Uh, and then we got a couple other skins got added that cloud raider fox looking pretty nice uh the scarf tier two and bug pedal tier two scarf tier two that's the fluffy white one that they yeah yeah so the the cute one the little cute white one yeah (laughs) And then the bug pedal tier two, that's the one with the little uh, beetles, I believe. Yeah. The little so, beetles. And they and they, people don't know this, but in the, I believe they're green, right? Yeah, they're green now because they changed them because that's right. 
They were they too were close the to the lane color. minions. Yeah, they were too close to the color of lane minions. So yeah. if you can imagine how annoying, like especially right now, like they die almost immediately. But if you can imagine them being blue, the same color as the <laughs> lane minions, you literally had no idea that they were dead. Right. <laughs> so, at, of course, SCMC took some of our... Uh, our feedback or, uh, and feedback and they were like yeah that does kind of make sense so they changed it to green which looks cooler i think yeah um, and also easier to distinguish yeah I, I might pick up that cloud raider vox because i've been hearing people in like the first few games they're like vox is really good against uh sky like he you yeah. know could kite around her and do a bunch of damage i think the same is for sky i think she can kind of Stay around him, even though he okay. tries to get away. So, yeah, there's. I mean, of course, when you you, know, you always get that gank where you, you get the gank on box, and then he kind of shuffles away. Yeah. Well, this she kind of negates that shuffle, especially if she waits for him to wait, waits for him to sonic zoom away, and then yeah. she just jumps on him with her B and keeps keeps attacking. So, she's going to be in lane. I think she's going to be pretty strong, but she's still going to be gankable, which is okay. actually pretty nice. Who Good do you think? Down. Who do you feel like is a pretty decent counter to her or like well at least maybe trade with her well in lane uh, you know i would in the pbe it was ringo but of course ringo trades with everybody well but of course <laughs> ringo got the heat, well i mean we'll get to it but ringo got the huge nerf yeah um you know i don't know uh i think i think somebody like scarf is still gonna poke her pretty good okay um you know, cp like she's not gonna be able to get away is the problem so she can't back off once she locks Right. So, I mean, once you get locked on, if you're a Celeste and she locks onto you, I mean, you know she's coming for you. She's got to be coming for you. <laughs> so That's true, yes. Yeah. So she's... Yeah. she's only got a little bit of a range, so uh, it's probably going to, I don't know, I, I, I would think... I would think somebody with a little range would have a little bit easier time, but okay. you know, she, I mean, she is super, she is super squishy. So I mean, Ringo could probably still just destroy her in lane. Who knows? Right, I, I and you know, Catherine comes in there and stuns her. Oh, and then, anybody stuns, yeah. Anybody yeah. stuns a lane person, and they're pretty <laughs> much dead. So, especially her. She's only got like six hundred and thirty health. She's one of the squishiest to start with. Yeah, I don't have the numbers. I didn't look at the actual numbers, but yeah, her health is pretty low right now. Really low, yeah. yeah. Which, which is. Uh, I think well deserved. It needs to be low. Yeah, for the sure. Uh, let's keep going with the hero changes. We'll come back to this other stuff in here. But okay. you mentioned Ringo. Ringo has been kind of our. He's just been like solid. He's been top, <laughs> like you know, not not always number one, but he's up there and he's like a safe pick, and no one on right. your team's gonna be mad so that you picked the Ringo. Funny thing about this change, which I think is kind of. I think it's kind of ironic, is that, okay. you know, a couple of, I think, patches ago, uh, SEMC, I believe it was 1.6, 1.7, I think SEMC actually quoted as the saying, Ringo is the pinnacle of balance. Okay. Yeah. Right, he's the pinnacle of balance. And then, this patch, he gets a massive nerf. I mean, like a 40% nerf on his B ability. Right, which is so, twirling silver. Twirling silver, yeah. So, I mean, he got a huge nerf. I mean, he doesn't even get his original duration back when you max it. He only gets it up to six seconds now and starts at four, mm -hmm. when before he had seven at all levels. So, that's a huge nerf for Ringo, because, you know, you, you just don't have it up all the time. He's going to be struggling for, yeah, for if, energy, you know, just, just to put out the same damage. So, that's a huge nerf. And if anyone was playing Crystal Ringo, you know, you were using that twirling silver all the time. All the time, right. Uh, they did give it a little bit of a ratio boost, but I don't think it's enough to kind of counteract the not having well, it. Well, it was still good. It's crystal. So now it's just you're getting a little more crystal, but you're getting a little less duration. So I think the change was to just nerf his weapon side, not so much the crystal side. Okay. That's in my opinion. So we might still see crystal Ringos. And if you do go like a cooldown acceleration item, uh, yeah. it might still be okay. I mean, it's gonna. It's still not gonna be up as much, but it's gonna be on cooldown half as often. So, yeah. so uh, it's a trade. -off. We'll, we'll see how Ringo, you know, <laughs> fair, fares out there after, as we right. get into it a little more. Uh, next up, Saw. It's, man, I don't. I don't think they know what to do with Saw. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it is tough. It's tough because Saw. I mean, if you have to fight one v one with a Saw, it is impossible to do anything with him. Yeah. Especially now that you can you can't stun him out of his stacks. Yeah, that was a nice uh, change. I didn't really bring him into the meta too much. Yeah, though. well this problem you know, of course, the problem in high tier with Saw is that there are no bans 
um, there's no draft picks. So there's yeah. a lot of heroes that aren't being used that can be utilized if somebody knows who they're fighting against. <laughs> you know, if you blind pick a saw, everybody knows it's GG. I mean, at the most part, for the most part. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry part, DZ. Sorry, DZ. <laughs> sorry, Celsius. Love you, guy. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, uh, Josh from Vertigo. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, it's just you know you see him in rank queue, and I mean the first thing you're like you're just like oh man, if we just gank this guy like a hundred times, he's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing he can do. So the change now, uh, basically finishing suppressing fire is going to reset the roadie run, which yeah. isn't bad, and you might be able to roadie run in and then suppressing fire or like right. and reposition and then you know roadie run away that's kind right. of how i see that working now exactly so i think this is actually pretty fun in pbe actually you know you, you build the crystal star, the old crystal shank saw okay right everybody played the shank saw it's fun that's right? fine yeah, and then they yeah. nerfed and they nerfed the shank they made this cool down longer i right? didn't stop until you shanked right? <laughs> you finished shank so that went away but now you know you shank somebody uh then you suppressing fire and then as soon as your suppressing fire is over, you get your roadie run back, which is huge yeah. for saw. Because usually once you have both of those cooldowns, you're kind of I mean, you're, screwed, you're yeah. just like a sitting duck, right? <laughs> <laughs> you've got no you've got no chance. So at least now you can it seems like he might be able to just roadie run to get into a fight, even if he doesn't shank. Right, like get down to the fight. Or suppressing fire to like lock somebody down for his team. And then you know, if anybody's within 25% health, he should be able to just go in there and just murder him. Okay. <laughs> so it sounds like he might have a little bit of play time. I think it's Shang Tsung. Not so much Weapon Saw, but Shang Tsung. Okay, so maybe those old crystal builds are going to come back. I think they're, you're going to see them, especially in casual queue, for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to get shanked, people. <laughs> uh, the next, I think, big change uh, is Rona. She was kind of just disappeared after her release. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, I think SCMC is kind of erring on the side of caution with new heroes now. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go through another box situation where he's just 1v3 in the entire team. Yeah. Um, obviously, that was detrimental. Then they don't want to, of course, change something like Scarf and whatever tank Scarf, you know, whatever skank patch it was. You know, yeah. He's <laughs> But he was no, you know, with no offense. So yeah, I think that when they first released her, she was a little underwhelming, mm -hmm. best, and I think she got some much needed buffs. That's for sure. Yeah. So I, you know, I didn't play a lot of Rona because she wasn't like the top pick, the number one like go to. So it just wasn't someone I was practicing all the time. And now it's like, oh man, what am I doing? I'm gonna have to go watch Shin's video now and like Shin's video, yeah. Or I mean, you know, the first person actually that I remember even seeing somebody play her competitively was I think Stan Smith and right, yeah, in Korea. He actually pulled out a Rona, which he didn't do too bad with her. If he had these buffs, I think she would have been a beast. All right, so uh, uh, have you played a lot of Rona? Do you know? I don't. I have, okay. only in the I, yeah, I'm just like you. I didn't, you know, I picked her up and I was like, oh, she's cool. And then you're like, uh, she's all right. Okay. Uh, you know, she's cool to have and play when casual when you're bored, but she's definitely not somebody you want to use in rank, okay. in my opinion. So, but yeah, so she's got, she's got basically a change in every, every category here. Right. So her, uh, heroic perk, uh, energy stat no longer increase her in combat rage gain. That's right. Uh, and then the weapon ratios, that got nerfed a little bit. That's just her heroic perk down from 80 yeah, and to it's 70. Only from her autos. That doesn't have anything to do with her base damage from her, you know, A, B, and C abilities. Uh -huh. It's just, just her auto attacks when she's, you know, from the start. So that's not too bad. Right. Uh, and then she's going to gain 100% more blood rage when attacking targets suffering from mortal wounds. So that's from her, like, uh, foe splitter right. that she. Her foe splitter, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but this could also proc from anybody with mortal wounds, right? If Taka went in there, or even a fortress? Or is yes, it... right. It's a, You got fortress with a mortal wound, you got Taka with a mortal wound. Uh, I think that might be all of them. I think, yeah, mistaken. the three of them right now, yeah. Three of them right now, which mortal strikes are brutal. Yeah. So <laughs> they just are. Good. So she's going to, so whenever somebody has a mortal strike on them, and she, uh, and she's attacking him, she's going to get 100% of her blood rage back. Yes. So that's cool. That's a, you may see some good combos there. And then yeah. whenever Rona reaches max blood rage, uh, she gains a barrier equal to 8% of her max health. 
Right. Uh, that's kind of huge, and that kind of like goes with Vox a little bit, who gets this shield for when right. he's a uh, you know so attack. This is, I think, a little bit different than Vox. Obviously, Vox was, you know, a lot of people say that he wasn't that he wasn't overpowered. But I mean, that's obviously <laughs> not the case because uh, Vox is Vox is one of the best kids in the game. Yeah, I mean, he, he still does, and he always probably will. But the barrier was just too much. He had a lot. I mean, when you imagine all the auto attacks and the bounce, I think he only got it on on autos. Yeah, I think but so. I mean, he was negating a lot of damage with those autos, especially when you had attack speed and an alternating current. So, but Rona, she's a melee, so she's got to get in and do the damage. Mm -hmm. So, so having, that makes sense for her to have a little bit of a barrier when she goes in and you know tries to get crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I think they'll just help her live a little longer. I think I I played one game tonight as Rona. <laughs> and I jumped in there a couple times and was just like, oh, where, where'd I go? And realizing like, oh, that That's right. barrier, so I'm going to have to pay it's, attention it's to gonna make It's going to make her, you want to use her uh, with, because where's we're his max health? Yeah. So when you stack on like a crucible and stuff, that's going to increase your barrier. And it happens whenever you eat, whenever you reach max blood rage. So you're going to want to get to max blood rage, start a fight. Use your foe splitter. Yeah, it can. You, and I think if you use it now, we'll get to it. But I think if you use it now, you don't use up all of your blood rage. Yeah. So if you keep autoing after you use your foe splitter, you can get back to 100 percent, which will give you your barrier back. So yeah. if you can kind of juggle that combo, that's 16 percent of your health you can kind of protect mm -hmm. so, on top of all the other abilities that she has. Yeah. So she's gonna become someone that you're kind of like paying attention to the numbers a little more. And, yeah. For uh, sure. Yeah, you mentioned the foe splitter. That's her uh, her B ability because her A is the uh, the jump in, you know. Berserker. The berserker, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's, no, I'm no, sorry. That's, that's, her, that's her heroic part. Her, what is yeah. that? They didn't change her A ability. No, they actually. didn't change that. Uh, but so the second hit, like you said, now consumes only 50% of the blood rage instead of the full 100%. Uh, right, but the, but the big one, I mean, that's big too, but the big one is that the fact that it gives you, after you use it, you get a bonus speed buff yeah you get a 1.5 movement speed for two seconds that was the problem a big problem with rona was before you would use the first part of your foe splitter so you'd hit somebody and they would run away yeah and right so then you're the whole, slow you're pretty you're slow. slow you can't do anything you just kind of have to hope they run back into you or you know move somewhere now you hit them with your foe splitter and you literally can pick a target if they're in a if you're in a team fight uh -huh. you can you could foe split the the tank and then immediately turn on the carry and just drop all that damage on the carry, and it's the tank's fault. <laughs> yeah, and if they <laughs> do try to close. run away, you have the movement speed, and then you can That's jump right. again with your A ability and you know slow them again. That's right. Yeah, so you're only going to use 50% of your blood rage, and I believe the cooldown on that is not very long. No, her and cooldowns are pretty short. Yeah, so she's going to be spam. She's really spammable, so that's going to be really nice of her to be able to just jump in and kind of just murder a carry. Yeah, <laughs> and then her, and then their second hit. Oh man, her yeah. second hit gives her that uh, bonus thirty to fifty percent attack speed, depending on what you know what point you have in it for yeah. uh, two to four seconds. So I mean, she's going to just go berserk after you drop the foe splitter. <laughs> yeah. Her farm clear is ridiculous with foe splitter. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, because you can, I mean, you really just cut down a minion to like half health, and then you just start auto-attacking it to death, you know, and then, you, of course, you turn on the next one. Oh, true. She's got a really quick farm clear, for oh, sure. nice. I, yeah, and then her, her ultimate cooldown has been reduced from 12 to 4. That's... That's huge. What? Like, how long? <laughs> how, it, it, it's like 10 seconds long, right? If it's going, it's going to so it's basically up again right away. Yeah, it is, but you got to understand she's also super slow when she's using it too. Yeah. So it's easy to get away from. So I think they made it to where you could use it all the time because there's no really harm in it if you're going to use it and nobody's around you. Yeah. But, you know, so it's, it's really good for farm clearing, to be honest. And then, uh, of course, she gets, uh, she actually does get reduced uh, lifesteal with it when she's channeling. Right. I think that was so you couldn't see her sit there and, you know, solo crack it. Anytime. I think this is I think this is when somebody says nerf Shin, this is what they mean because this is Shin's build. Basically the double serpent's mask, clockwork, Rona can't be killed. Right, spin, spin, because spin. Because Shin's playing her. <laughs> yeah, spin, spin, spin. Yeah, so this is gonna cut that down. So even if you have two serpent's masks, you're really only gonna get the 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 lifesteal from one. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it it's just making it so she's not unkillable while she's in her ult. Yeah. But she did get like a bit of a armor and shield gain from uh, yeah, in that ability huge. now. Which 80 is armor and 80 shield is huge. That's, uh, I want to say that's a little more than half of a metal jacket. Okay, yeah. And pretty close to more than half. Well, I think it's more than half of an Aegis. <laughs> it's up there, yeah. 
so I think we'll see a good amount of Rona now. I think as people, one, it's kind of an all-new uh, setup for her. Not a new kit, but just, like, lots of changes. So you're going to see a lot of her, a lot of people playing her. And She was always, she always did a lot of damage. Yeah. She was just so squishy. It's just hard to get her in and do the damage and get out. So. Yeah, so I think you'll see a lot more of her, and especially in the jungle. Yeah, they listed her as a berserker, but I think she's almost like a... She's almost like an assassin, you know. She goes in, you know, it's like Taka. If he goes in and stays too long, he's dead. Yeah. So she goes in, she does her little mortal wound, and she jumps out. I mean, it's basically a, <laughs> basically a, an assassin, in my opinion. Okay. Interesting. Uh, next up was Vox. You were mentioning has been the, you know, OP hero since the release. And yeah, he kind of... Just keep tweaking his numbers a little bit to try to make him not you know, first picked on everyone's list. <laughs> right. um, I don't think this really does too much to hurt him, but yeah. resident's bounce range is down 0.5%. Like, or um, 0.5 meters, or yeah. Yeah, so, or yeah it's not very, it wasn't a big nerf, but I mean, they're still, of course, they're going to tweak him. If they go to too low, then of course, nobody's going to use a crystal box. Yeah. You know, if they go too high, like they have it, you know, then the only people are only going to use crystal box. They're trying to make box kind of, Weapon and crystal. Yeah. Pick, you know, because before, you know, originally it was uh, if you don't go crystal, right, you're going to lose your game. And right. then, then, it, then there was, you know, if you don't go weapon, weapon you're, you're going to lose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's kind of like, I think, I think Fox is in a good spot where he can actually, depending on where he's at, you can actually pick one or the other. Yeah. And I think that's what Super Evil wants. They want most heroes to be able to have those options and kind of, you know, what does that's your right. team need? And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is cool. Um, Taka got a small bug fix that you know was just causing him to be a little too strong. <laughs> this last patch. Uh, yeah. A, no, actually, oh, he's got a, a bug. This is a this is actually a, a nerf, uh, a, a buff for him. Oh, dude, I read it. I read it wrong. Jeez, Taka. Yeah. All right. So before he would he would more he would flip over and not and then, get the mortal but, strike and not get the mortal strike. So he wouldn't get the. So he basically he would flip over to an auto attack. Well, now they're guaranteeing that when he does the flip, he's actually going to do the mortal strike. Oh, know, man. At oh. least proc it. So, I mean, he got a pretty big nerf, or a pretty big buff, in oh. my opinion. Man, I read and he's this already and bad as it is. Yeah, I read this. I was like, all right, thanks, Taka. Yeah, good yeah. Taka. And now it's like, oh, no. Nerfed, <laughs> the only thing they nerfed with Taka was that they removed a little bit of Pierce from Tension Bow, but Taka is going to be your number one jungle monster yeah. here in this patch for sure. Oh, man. All right, good. I'm glad, because I was getting pretty good with Taka. I, was like, you know, I, I hate him. On the enemy team, he's and still I... going to be a monster, and I predict 1.9. You're going to see a bit of a nerf on him because okay. he is, he is pretty nasty. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, next up was Petal, who you know Petal like saw. They just can't get right at the moment. Uh, yeah, poor so, Petal. Yeah, but Munions, you know, they're going to do a little more damage, like a little bit, and the healing has been up as well. So if you're building Crystal, yeah, that's interesting, actually, the three percent. Yeah. I think that would be pretty nice and uh, help lane pedals a little bit, but still, like, I don't it's know just, if this is enough. It's just one of those things where if you're in the middle of a fight, you're not really going to drop a seed and stand on it. Yeah. So it doesn't, I don't know, I mean, it really helps her ARAM ability. <laughs> I mean, she's going to be a beast in ARAM. I mean, just, everybody's just going to sit next to it and just, you know, heal up, you know. But, uh, of course, because if you have five seeds out there, which I think is the max, that's 15% health. Yeah. Every second. I mean, that's huge. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to lane pedal and just sit on your seeds, yeah, I mean, then you I got, guess you could, but then you have to move at some point. Yeah, you're just going to have Sky, you know, <laughs> just mow him down. <laughs> so, right. Seeds? So, yeah, I don't no. Think they know. I think, honestly, just like Saw, you know, in the right draft mode, pedal is viable. It's just that there's so many heroes like Taka that are just so much better than Petal. There's no point in using her. Mm -hmm. I did lose to a weapon Petal the other day. I felt pretty it's possible. bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's saws too. So, I mean, it happens. But um, for the most part, you can usually just squash Petal pretty fast. Yeah. Um, Jewel uh, just got a little change to her Thunderstrike. Uh, it was critting, like, everybody right. in that you would hit. If they, everyone was standing in there line. Was a I don't know if you remember it, but I think on Twitter there was, I think it was after a VGL match or some huge match where it showed Jewel critting all three heroes and it was for over 900 each. Yeah. 
Oh, it was brutal. I mean, they went from the hundred to zero in like one thunder strike. Yeah. So now brutal. the crit, so, yeah. the crits calculated a little differently, so it's not uh, it's independently calculated and, on each hero. So yeah, you might crit one for nine hundred, or I mean, they nerfed her, so maybe one for six hundred, and the other one might get three hundred, or the other one might get four hundred. They're all going to have their own independent assessment of crit uh-huh. instead of everybody getting critted all at once. So that's actually a pretty good balance for her. Yeah, and like. But the crystal ratios on Thunderstrike did go up a little bit, uh, which is fine. But most people, I think, have been building her weapon lately. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're they're she. Did, I mean, she got a nerf on her big red button yeah. as far as the ticks go. So you don't see too many. I mean, you still see them every once in a while. But that crit, though, <laughs> that crit is brutal. It was nasty. <laughs> and since most people were running the Crystal Fox, you would see the weapon yeah. jewels in the jungle. Oh well, yeah. And so I think. This is a fine change for I don't think it affects her that much. You're still going to see her in solo queue. and you know, Oh, yeah. This... Jewel, Jewel's fun to play. She's still good crystal. If you you know, if you know need a crystal jewel on your team, her jumps still do massive damage. Yeah. And you can still pick off somebody running away with her crystal uh, big red button. So, I mean, she's definitely really balanced in my opinion. And then as soon as we get the third mech hero, then we can do the mech teams. Oh, right. Yeah. Be doing this, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think Zeno likes her. Zeno likes Sky because she's the... Uh, She's a what does he call her? The um, like the steampunky. Oh. No, he says it's a oh a Matrix APU. Ma- okay. Yeah, uh, he likes her because she looks like a Matrix APU, which is cool. <laughs> so we just need one more. We just need one more to round out the, the round out the triangle. Yeah, there. I think we'll get somebody, but probably it'll be a little while. Maybe it's. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they're gonna need. I think they're gonna need a few more supports. I mean, we're running a little short on supports in the in the fold. Right, especially it's our last little change here to Arden. Uh, yeah. He's just Vanguard cooldown is now thirteen at all ranks, which is which he, okay. He needs that for yeah. sure. Yeah, he was just always starving. It's like you use your Vanguard in the middle of, at the beginning of a fight to help your teammate, and of course when you're in casual queue, what happens? They go back in. Right? <laughs> like, no, oh, I Vanguarded you to get out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so of course they go back in, and you know you have no chance of saving them. But so if you get you know like an aftershock and Arden, which isn't uncommon, no, yeah. even if you go you know mid game get a clockwork, I mean you're going to be vanguarding all the time. So it's that's a, you needed that I believe for sure. And you've actually been seeing a lot of weapon Ardens in the jungle. Yeah, but that's Fuji's fault. That's okay. We can blame Fuji for that. <laughs> Plays one weapon Arden and VG and uh the um the, the, uh, the is the yeah the last. Play it. I can't remember what it is. There's so many tournaments going on, but uh, yeah, you play one weapon art, and then of course you see them everywhere on the fold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, it's, a, it's fun to play, but yeah, I don't know. it is fun. <laughs> uh, we did get a few item changes going throughout all these numbers. I'd recommend checking out the patch. We don't have to go through yeah. all these numbers here, uh, but I think one of the big ones was a uh, broken myth change. The stacks, yeah. uh, so dealing. Well, yeah, it wasn't so much of a change. I think they just fixed like a okay. bug that was happening. Because you know, if anybody's played a scarf, I mean, he he hits you with one Spitfire, and he's got three stacks. Yeah. Because it was calculating damage over time as being in a fight, so they just went ahead and just removed that. So it actually takes three seconds of actual fighting or being hit in order to get your stacks so that's not too bad it's actually the way it was probably intended to work anyway right especially because you were starting to see sometimes like just the broken myth stacking or the piercing start sh- stacking and right yeah well this piercing charge stacking got a little nerfed too but mm-hmm. but broken myth was i mean it was like with scarf it was just it was insta stacks yeah you know drop a pool Somebody runs through the pool, boom, automatically you have 30% more damage. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, you know, then it's just ham at that point. <laughs> uh, one of the big changes, which I kind of, I think, made all the support items go up, was you're now going to get more gold from Iron Guard contract. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gold bounty's up from 30%, uh, basically to 60%. That's right. And which kind of caused all... All types, too, not just jungle creeps. Yeah. So you're going to get 60% from lane creeps as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think... I know this was brought up in some of the testing that we could see some people going, you know, support in lane now, like we see in League of Legends and other games where the support is You know, is I don't lane. know if that's... I mean, in my opinion, I mean, if you lose the jungle, you basically lose the game, Okay. right? So, I mean, if you get two people in the jungle that are just dominating your jungle, that means you don't have any minion mines. That means you don't have the gold miner. 
because yeah. one guy cannot defend all that. Okay. So, I mean, I could be proven wrong. I mean, maybe you'll see it in the VGL or something. <laughs> or somebody's run double lane. You never know. But um, at this point in time, it feels like, I mean, who are you going to put in the jungle by themselves and have them well, just wreck face? Taka. You know, Taka. Mitaka by himself. Yeah, I mean, sure. I guess you could, but his early game jungle player is horrible. Right, yeah. So you kind of need somebody to help. But uh, maybe, I'm sure somebody will figure out a way. And we always, we always get... Uh, we always get surprised by what people figure out. True, you know? yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so you get an extra gold bonus, but actually um, a lot of the a lot of the support items actually went down in price. The only one that went up was the Fountain of Renewal. So, actually, there's a sale on all the... A <laughs> sale. <laughs> there's a sale going on right now for... I mean, you have all this extra money, and now you have all these items that are on sale, so it's going to make support have a little extra money left over to, you know, maybe buy some actual damage, damage you mm-hmm. know, um, which... Which I think some supports kind of you kind of have to have at some point. You know, sometimes it's nice to have that third person in there, kind of poking. Right, especially even if it's, if it's a little bit. You know, especially if it's the aftershock or the extra breaking point or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or even just I mean, I mean, every one of these items went over a hundred gold down. It looks like so. I mean, that's that's quite a that's quite a little bit of money for vision. Yeah, you or, now that you didn't have before. Maybe even you'll see the support like a Catherine build a frostburn because that. Crystal yeah, ratio that slow is frostburn. increased now, and yeah, you'd be able to hit her with that frostburn. Frostburn's still kind of expensive in my opinion, but um, but it does give you twenty percent slow. Slow, now. yeah. The max is forty, so. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, but I mean, sure, you'll probably see a lot more, yeah, a lot uh-huh. more uh, aftershocks for sure, because it was getting kind of tight there. I mean, before <laughs> you, remember, you remember Stormguard or Iron Guard was only like. Wasn't it only like twenty percent at some point, or forty yeah. percent? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, it's gotten a lot of gold in the last few patches. <laughs> <laughs> I think basically they don't want to make it feel like picking support is boring, or just like you're just you know not doing anything. You're just like, uh, if I don't keep well, you guys alive, it's still over. Not, you're still not doing anything is what people are gonna feel. But for to a real support, that's gonna make all the difference. I mean, that's a lot of gold. Ten percent at the end of the game. What do you usually have about eight? Yeah. So that's almost a thousand more gold plus, you know, there's other bonuses too. So, I mean, you're going to get, I think there's going to be a lot more fun with the support, having a little bit of gold. And of course, all these sale items is your defense. Right. Do you and usually... of course, they went up, they went up, they went up a lot too. So your light armor, they got a, that got a buff. So mm-hmm. uh, do you usually play a lot of support? Kind of feel like you're I advocating for support here. I play support <laughs> okay. 80% of the time. So yeah, I, I do like playing support. I do get frustrated in the in the solo queue because you it's not obviously optimal to support right, in yeah. solo queue. But um, it's still you know close to my heart. Still want to play support all the time. I've okay. uh, been getting been playing a little Taka lately, a um, little bit of Vox, but still not, <laughs> not nearly as good with you know as most people are with them. But it's not fun with them. Yeah, support no, I... though, support is fun for me. So yeah, getting that extra vision, getting that extra just. You know, being able to get that extra armor, that defense to, you know, make the difference. That's all. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, I play a lot of support, or I really should just say a lot of Catherine. <laughs> He's pretty much the OP support at the moment. Yeah, and I am one person to get Contraption. I like Contraption. I like the, you know, the AoE damage you get to do to the minions. I just uh, and I see the, I've never felt the need to be like, man, I wish I could just clear this wave for my team. I don't know. It's um, fun. and it, it looks makes, awesome. I like the like sense. proc from it. Solo queue, like if, you know, <laughs> that's like a solo queue item, so you can go just steal farm all day. Yeah. Um, so sometimes you just you know within the first three minutes you know whether or not your team's good or not. Some you know maybe you transition over to like carry Catherine. It's true. Yeah. You know, <laughs> carry Arden. You know. It's so. definitely still I think a uh, you know a late sense. game item, but yeah. ha- having more charges up sooner is should be helpful. But I've run out of them. I'll, even at when it was 25 seconds, yeah, it's I was like, oh man, I'm out, and I'm waiting for like more. <laughs> I think I'm still gonna run out because yeah, I put well, a lot of mine. Down to 15, 15 seconds, right? Yeah, from 25. So every 45 seconds, you're getting three of something, mm-hmm. which I guess is not too long. That's like one jungle rotation. Yeah. It's quite a few, I think. Twenty five was kind of long, in my opinion. I mean, you only get you, every time you needed one, you didn't have one. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, I'm buying yeah. more scout traps because my contraption <laughs> is not here. On cooldown, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it just spent you know two something, two thousand something gold on it. I still have to buy scout traps. Yeah, 
So we'll, we'll see how contraption. I, I you know, saw works Shin out. playing with a contraption today. He didn't win the game, unfortunately, but I think it was a casual anyway, or a, it was a private match. But man, dude, he had he had contraption. He had he had scout traps everywhere. Okay. I mean, there was scout traps everywhere. It, just, <laughs> it was like three in every bush. <laughs> he had like two by the mine. There was everywhere. There were so many mines. Yeah, it's like they're fr- they're free at that point when you got it. It's like <laughs> well, they're not free. You already paid for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're on. You had them on credit. <laughs> cool. Uh, th- yeah, there's some other tweaks with the items. I definitely recommend going and checking the patch notes uh, yeah. on the Vanglory website. Uh, a couple things in the gameplay changes. Uh, this one's going to be big, and I think change late game uh, finishers where the vein crystal is now going to regenerate health for not taking damage after five seconds. No more will you be aced at the vein crystal and then like, all right, we'll just wait to spawn. You know, Glaive, go in there and take care of it for us. Yeah, you're not gonna. I think you're gonna see uh, kind of like the end of the backdooring Taka. Mm-hmm. You know, because he's not going to be able to one shot it anymore. You know, after five seconds, it's basically just going to get its health back. So, I mean, if you get three people on it, it's gone anyway. Yeah. But it's going to stop that one, one hit back door, which, you know, when you're on a base race, sometimes that's all that's left on your vein. Sometimes when you're both are running for it. Yeah. But now, I mean, you're actually going to have to, you know, take it down, not just one shot it. So mm-hmm. that's that's not bad. I think they needed that. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I wonder if uh, at some point we may see the turrets regen health like we see uh, in other games where the you know other... uh, yeah so this is my only MOBA I've ever played so I've never seen that but I can't imagine they would do that considering they want to make the games less than that, 20 minutes that's or true so. yeah good point so yeah I don't I don't know that that will ever happen but of course weirder things have happened <laughs> of course I mean you can see we'll get to it here but I mean some of the tower the turrets are actually getting less armor early so yeah that's gonna push. should mention first that those two turrets by the vein crystal are now going to be less gold, which makes a lot of sense. There's two of them right there. You shouldn't get 600 gold if you take down both. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you're already losing, so why give the other enemy team another yeah. like, well, an extra 400 on top of them decimating you at the crystal? And heck, half the time, <laughs> you don't even need that money. It's like, oh, we'll take these down and end the game. I couldn't so buy anything. I think it makes it to where, like, yeah, you could push. It's putting that, if you could push, but really the risk isn't, you know, like sometimes you've got like five seconds and then the whole team's up. You're uh-huh. like, well, we could really just take this turret and get that 300. But now it's like, I don't know, do we want to risk the ace for 100? Yeah. Let's just come back. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's, retreat, let's just regroup. We'll come back. So I think it's a good little element. You know, it stops that early game snowball. If, yeah. If it is one. And then all the turrets are getting like, uh, is this increased armor and shield on them, right? They don't. Uh, late game. Late game. So the armor and shield goes up over time right uh, so i think the 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 idea here is um punishing punishing a kind of like a overrun jungle okay right so let's say you go three-man jungle to destroy well you could bring your three out of the jungle and push a turret Mm -hmm. because there's nobody to defend the turret so you might lose your jungle but they're going to lose a turret and that was usually a decent Trade. That was a That's trade a pretty good trade. So now they're going to lose a turret even faster. So it's going to be like, well, do we want to just sit in their jungle <laughs> or do we want to protect our turret? We've got yeah. to do one or the other because it's going to be hard to do both. So you're always going to have to have your laner up there. Somebody rotating. It, yeah. Right, at least until late game. Early so, game. Looks like it went down to 45. Yeah, so 45. Yeah, they were 110 before. Now it's only 45 at, at two minutes. Uh, so yeah, that first... Uh, that first turret may go down a lot faster now. Yeah, um, I think just... so. I think it's going to make for faster games. Mm-hmm. So you leave. Uh, a... It's going to be punishing, that's for sure. When if you get a little carried away in the jungle and you don't, you're not up there. Yeah, especially in those early games. Maybe you all three rotate around a fight, and the enemy team, you know, their laners there. It's like, all right, I'll just push your turret. Yeah. It's gone especially now. Up saw. I mean, saw murders turrets as it is, but you get an early game saw that's stacked up, just peeling your turret away. Very true. It's going to tear down a turret pretty fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we may, we're going to see a little different rotation in the jungle anyway because, you know, they're still not happy with the spawn times. Like, yeah. I don't know how many times they can mess with this. <laughs> but... We're going to go ahead and blame Jaw Jaw Jack on this one oh. for the 20-second spawn timer from the PBE because he actually requested it. Or actually, okay. I think he brought it up. 
Okay. And, what and was even though, reason? even whether he mentioned the death CMC or not, he's still getting the blame for it. So we're going to blame <laughs> Jaja Jack for the 20 second spawn time. Uh, but yeah, like they were saying, 20 seconds is pretty early. Mm-hmm. It's enough to get your laner in there and kind of help since he has nothing to do anyway. So it kind of helps that early game jungle rotation. Okay. Which I think that's kind of the part of the, you know, the best. That was part of the snowball problem was fast rotations. Right. Because of course, when, once you get your rotation done, you got nothing better to do. You may as well go check out what the other doing. Yeah. yeah, let's go see what they're doing, right? So I think they're trying to get rid of that. So 25 seconds, I think, is in a good spot. It used to be 30. It used to be 30 because we all get to the shop. You could buy another mine, and right. then you'd all fight before you even did anything. So. That's right. Yeah, exactly. So now it's they're still protecting that early game, or actually they're protecting the late game by giving the late game farmers a chance to take their backs, uh-huh. which is the whole point of reducing the timer anyway, was to give the late game comps a chance to at least farm their backs before they get invaded. Yeah. You know, and at least get to the jungle, at least port back, or at least get to the, at least have some goal to do some defending or even some offensive maneuvers when they get back into their jungle that's being overrun at the moment. Uh-huh. So 20 seconds was a little early, 25 is probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to see what the right rotation is for this because you get to your bottom doubles a, a little late, like they're already up there, but you could get to your middle healing buff like just as it's coming up and maybe you do those first two shop and then go back and work your yeah, way is, back in is, again. Yeah, it's going to be a little, there's going to be some you know trial and error going on because like you said, at, the, at 20 seconds, you may as well start at the back. They're already up. Mm-hmm. And at 30, you had enough time to walk all the way to the front. So what do you do? Do you start at the healer and work your way back? Yeah. Or do you just go like you were doing at 30 second and just go all the way to the doubles and then work your way back? Yeah. Um, just, uh, it's going to be some strategy in it, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll have to figure it out. I'm not, I'm not sure the best way. I have to watch some streams, see what people are doing, get some ideas. Right. <laughs> Copy everyone. Yeah. Uh, the crack and change is kind of nice that, you're not going to be able to just, you know, capture the Kraken and not take any damage. Like, let's do this, guys, real quick. Right. I don't know it. So I'm going to use I'm a I'm going to use a phrase that uh, that Jetpack said to me that was hilarious. Or I actually said it in chat was uh, Kraken is basically just tank and spank. <laughs> right? I mean, that's all she is. You just you just run up to her and you just tank her and you spank her till she's dead. I mean, you can yeah. capture the Kraken in 15 minutes in like 10 seconds most times. Yeah. Especially so. because. She doesn't even fight you for the first two seconds, three, four seconds because she's just spawning. She's so. big and slow and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So now she doesn't take any damage while she's spawning. So you have to wait for her to actually emerge. So there's that delay, which is five seconds. Five seconds, yeah. And then I think now she has more armor as well. Uh, more shield, like a little more bit shield. more shield. So. Uh, and that's just for those celestes comps that are just <laughs> melting. Yeah, they're just melting her. Uh, but that's not even that much. Fifty percent more sh- or fifty more shield. I mean, that's she's not... still going to get taken quickly. So instead of like a fifteen and ten second kraken, it'll be like a fifteen minute and thirty second kraken. Uh-huh. To, to be honest, the biggest one is the the ace. The biggest change is the ace buff that you lose if you take enemy damage. Right. So this was similar to basically a turret. Uh, before, if you aced the team, diving a turret, and you took damage there, you didn't get the the healing. You, if you got hit by the turret, you didn't get that ace buff, which you know helped you know teams just like snowball. Let's dive them. We'll all That's heal right. up, and we'll take more turrets. Let's That's do right. it again. So this is the same thing. So you're going to go in. Your team might be taking the kraken, and of course, if you go, well, you know, in the old patch, if you go in and you don't steal the kraken, yeah. Well, any damage that you just did to all those heroes has just been negated because they got an ace buff. Yeah. So you're basically going to get aced, and you have a kraken that's going to re- just rip up your 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 turrets. So I think the I think the strategy here is, you know, do you want to take that kraken? Because if she deals damage to you and they come in and snipe you, you're dead. You don't get no bait. You don't get an ace buff. <laughs> right. So. I think the the fights are going to be kind of interesting here now because, like you said, like it's going to go. But like, do we risk this? Because if they come in and even if they steal it, we have all this damage and even they're they full health. It. Yeah. If they and if, they, if don't they don't steal, steal it, it, we're over here, you know, tanking yeah. and taking a bunch of damage. Or or they could be hitting us the whole time, and it's not a guaranteed buff. It's actually no buff. 
So once you steal the Kraken, now you're half health. Well, guess what? You mm-hmm. still got three people that are there uh, fighting you, and they might have more health than you do because you were worried about the Kraken the whole time. Right. You know that Fox Alt's going to come in and silence people <laughs> like, oh, I didn't steal it, but I hit them all, and we but killed I hit them. them. All. Yeah, exactly. And now we got this that's, free that's, 500 gold. That's going to make for some interesting uh, tournament matches uh, that I'll be watching for sure. <laughs> Let's see what happens there. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's most of the changes on all the items and the heroes that you're going to see in patch 1.8. Uh, the last change I just want to mention is this karma system change before we get out of here. Because we've already talked about the seasons. We know those are kicking off. We'll get more into that as uh, the seasons actually happen. But this karma system change is kind of a big deal. Uh, especially if anyone's been playing for uh, since November, December when the game launched. We all had mm-hmm. karma that we you know, worked so hard for. Before we even yeah. had levels, we were all, like, working so for karma. So confusing at first, remember? It was, like, people thought your karma was your rank. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, I can't play with you because my karma's only six. It's like, well, it doesn't matter what your karma is. Yeah, <laughs> the karma was just the, just the idea of, like, how, you know, how much you play, really. That's all it was, because <laughs> you didn't yeah, have that's, thumbs up. That's right, yeah. So <laughs> I, I think it's better that they just kind of moved it into the background and said, you know, you're either... On good behavior, you're on timeout or you're banned. Right. <laughs> it's and, basically what they're. And if you have great karma, you're also getting like a glory buff to your or right. glory bonus. And I feel like I feel kind of cheated because we all just got good karma when this got implemented. Like, yeah, I was kind of actually going to ask you about that. I was like, hey, wait a minute. I got good karma. I never leave games, but everybody yeah, got great I think, karma. Yeah. I think we should have like got great karma. Like We've all had these glory <laughs> bonuses for months. Like I've been getting extra glory because my karma's been so good, and now... Yeah, I've been 20 for what? months. Yeah. I, get, I get shafted here. Like, <laughs> come on. Well, we all get shafted together. We're all in this together. <laughs> I think actually the funniest part of this whole screen, uh, the karma system, is that little button that they left in the upper right corner for the logout. Yeah. Looks like it was left over from the PBE. That doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Oh, the little door closing? It looks like a little weird, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it's very it's very big now. Like, I, I <laughs> it feel... used to be just a logout button. It just said logout. Yeah. It's... And now it just looks weird to me. Uh, I don't it... know. It doesn't think it belongs. Yeah, it's strange that they're promoting people to log out i feel like that button should be much smaller and you know you don't that's want people true. to log out you don't want them to change accounts that's true i agree but you no um, longer well, need level 10 karma to play ranked and this yeah, you nice. just need good karma you need good karma i guess it didn't say you need it you could well, play it with says bad. If you don't have if you have bad karma you, you can't play ranked at all okay i believe i think you're banned from what does it say you're banned from playing or chatting with other players for a time being. Oh, so yeah. So you, if you have bad karma, you can't play at all. Yeah. So you're, you're banned until they take you off the cooldown. So mm-hmm. that's pretty good, actually. And that's weird because I never even thought about chatting. But yeah, if you're super salty, yeah, you can't just add, troll, you, you can't, can't just add somebody and then, <laughs> yeah. you know, troll them or say, like, you suck. Delete. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is, is I don't know if you've actually played with anybody that has been banned before, but in like if you click on their name in the friends list, in the upper right corner, it actually tell them how long they were banned for. Oh, wow. No, I've never seen that. Yeah, somebody showed me a screenshot where somebody got banned. And it was like, oh, this person is banned for another nine seconds. Or... Oh, wow. So it puts them on cooldown, yeah, <laughs> if they dodge matches or if they uh, get too many thumbs downs or something, or they AFK, it puts them actually on cooldown. So you click on a person, you're like, ooh, they're on cooldown for 10 minutes. What'd they do? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not friends with them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right? So that's actually pretty cool. Let's do see. you think we need to know what our karma is, like how close we are to great karma? People... I don't think it really matters. I mean, if you're a good player and you're not a troll, I mean, you're more than likely going to be in great karma most of the time. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, I don't know how many it's going to take, you know, oh, AFKs yeah. or thumbs to get into great karma, but great karma doesn't really stop you from, or I mean, good karma, but it doesn't really stop you from playing. Mm-hmm. So I'm just assuming that if you went from great karma to good karma, that's probably something you did there. Right, okay. I, but I, I know there, there have been issues where people, you know, like they don't get the accept screen. Mm-hmm, true. You know, there's bugs like that that happen, but... For the most part, I mean, if you lose karma, there's going to be a reason. Yeah, I did opinion. see a bunch of people on Twitter complaining that, like, oh, so now if someone insta saws and I want to dodge this, you I'm hurting my karma? Still. 
you can still dodge. You can it's still, just yeah. Cost you. Yeah, you can still do it. It's just going to cost you. You, know, you might not be able to play in the next game. Mm-hmm. But you may see you're going to be on cooldown and lose karma. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Just roll roll the dice. You never yeah. know what's going to happen. It's pretty rough. I mean, it does make it does make ranked solo a little bit more scary. Mm-hmm. Not so much casual, because who cares about casual, right? Everybody just trolls casual anyway. Yeah, I think the idea was, like, even if you quit, you may feel better, but you just ruined, you just made all these other people, you made five other people have to wait to play right. a game now. Like, you ruined that game for other people. That's right. That's that's what they're trying to get rid of, and they've been trying to do that since, I don't know, 1.2, 1.3? Yeah. You know, with the whole karma, good karma, bad karma kind of thing. So that's good. I think... I think we're all guilty of it. Where you get in, and you're just like, I just want to play one more. I just want to get my third one, and then saw and pedal lock. You know? <laughs> oh, I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna bow out of this one. <laughs> uh, now you actually gonna be maybe spanked a little bit for doing that. So that's sure. probably good. You know, maybe you should play and learn how to play with other things. Yeah, sure. Well, that does it for patch 1.8. I kept you for like an hour here. It's super late now. <laughs> ah, it's all good, man. It's all good. It's, it's early where I'm at. It's, it's late right. for you. So get out of here. Uh, let people know where they can find you, follow you up, you know, all that uh, good stuff. Yeah. I mean, you can find me on Twitter. I'm pretty much everywhere. I'm in a bunch of streams most of the time. It's BFDM Mexi. Um, you can search for that. It's all caps. Um, you yeah. I mean, you can find me anywhere. You can anybody who's important that plays Vainglory. I'm usually added to their channel at some point, so it's <laughs> not gonna be very hard to find me. Cool. Or you can go to you know Gangstars and find me that way too. Nice, very nice. Uh, and you can follow Shadow the Vein on Twitter at Shadow the Vein, uh, website shadowthevein.com. All the episodes get posted there. You know, I'll link up the patch notes. I'll link up our twitters, and everyone can find us and you know follow us in game and on all that good stuff and you know let us know what they're thinking of uh sky or rona or you know maybe we got all these comments and thoughts on this completely wrong let us know send us a tweet or whatever <laughs> uh that'll do it for episode 46 uh thanks for joining me thanks for listening everyone out there cheers shatter the vein